Hi and welcome to another UQ 3D scanning um, and point cloud tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at uh, creating topographical surfaces from 3D scans. So we're going to be using uh, Cloud Compare and Revit to do this. So first up we're looking at a scan that we've mocked up previously and we've rendered it all up um, so it's looking a little bit more pretty and visual. And basically what we're going to do is first we're going to extract the topographical data so um, the basic surface contour around this area here from the um, scan and then we're going to take that into Revit and we're going to make that into a topo surface. Um, so first things first we want to use our cross section tool into the top view just to isolate the area And we're just going to quickly segment that to start. Close that one down. We get our first segmented piece of data. That just makes it a bit easier. We we'll go back to that view again, and then we're actually probably going to use the um, use the segment tool this time to cut out the additional bit of data. Just a little bit quicker. A little bit more precise. Cut that out. Bring that over again and we'll just cut out another piece over here. So we use the unpause. And then this is two lights. We don't really care about that data back there, so we'll just cut that one out too. Okay, so we've got that first little bit there. And we're just going to scroll around our mouse and try and cut out most of this other data. This can be a little bit tricky, cutting out data like this. Um, sometimes, as you can kind of see here, it's kind of hard to get an appropriate angle. So, we'll just try and do that. One of the things to remember as well, even if you do have to cut out some of the data you want, so some of the topographical data, you can always add that back in. We'll just do that here. Be reasonably careful, but not too fast. Cut that out. Even better. We actually come from down the bottom here. Yeah, we go. That's a bit of an angle. May take a little while to do, but generally reasonably quick. We've got some trees there. Get that bit out here. And let's switch this into perspective. That sometimes makes it a little bit easier. Oh, we've gone a little bit wild. out, piece by piece, just slowly segmenting it all out. It can take a while, so I'll just jump ahead to when I'm done. Um, so here we go, and this is a completed, oh, well, quickly completed one. We've still got some elements remaining, but by well, and large, I'm reasonably happy with this. Um, sometimes easier and quick if you really want to get a good um, and clean section and clean topography 
to create a bunch of section cuts and segment it many times um, and just use it as a bit of way of getting a finer grain along your topography. But this will do us for the moment. Uh, one last thing we're going to do with this point cut before we finish up is just subsample it. So to do that we just do a simple subsample and we're actually going to go quite high, so we can about 30 centimeters. Um, this is just to minimize the number of points coming through, which will speed everything up when we bring this into Revit. Just go OK. There you go, that's much, much less dense, but this will make it much easier a bit later. So from here we just want to export the file so we can take it into um, Revit to be used as a topo surface. So to do that we need to save it as a asset cloud and we want to be saving it as a txt file. So we'll call this topo um, and then we go txt or we can te technically also save it as a CSV, that is an acceptable format, but we'll just do it as a TXT. Um, and we'll just quickly save it onto my USB. And then we just press save. And this has to be a comma separation. Okay. And now we'll just go into Revit. Okay, guys, so welcome to the next part of the scanning tutorial. Um, we're just now in Revit, and this is just a standard architectural template in Revit 2016. And we're just going to now use that point cloud data to create some topographical a topographical map. So we just want to go to the Massing and Site tab. And we just want to start a topo surface. That's OK. We might just go to Site View just to make sure it's visible. And we're going to create from import specify points file. And we're just going to quickly navigate to our points file. So this is on my USB. And we'll create and we'll find our subsample points file, which is a TXT file, if we remember correctly. Uh, so that's that one there. And we'll just go open. And the distance was in meters. We we'll select OK. And that will, should just load up reasonably quickly. Yep, excellent. We can see that there. And we can see our point cloud data in here. So we just really want to, um, when we could possibly simplify the, the point surface, so we should possibly simplify it to about 80%. There you go. We'll just finish that up. Press OK. And bring it around. There you go. That's the top of the surface. As you can see, we've still got a bit of spiking and possibly could be a little bit finer. But all in all, it's, it's quite a good surface. Um, you can see the, the folds of the path and some other elements through there. If you really wanted to um, increase the density, increase the fineness of the surface, you can increase the density of point cloud when you load it. But of course, that has trade-offs in terms of processing time um, and file size and the like. So we'll just quickly switch this to shaded, just to have a look. And thanks very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.